fluids 14, PSIG equals given pressure plus 14.7 PSI. However, while adding feet of fuel, PSIG was not converted. Is it okay? So uh, a lot of assumptions in there. Let's just kind of rattle through your assumptions and make sure we're on the same page there. So PSIG equals given pressure plus 14.7. Uh, I, I actually meant PSI plus 14.7, right? What do you mean when you say PSI? I'm sorry, like um, if, if I have, if I have uh, 50 PSIG, right? That means 50 PA plus 47, uh, 14.7, right? So it's, it's going to be 64.7 PSI, right? Yeah, I just I want to kind of step back and talk through the phrasing, right? It's going to be, what is it? What is your goal? And then let's talk about how we get there. So uh, when I was uh, like doing this problem, I didn't see that like uh, when I finally found out the fit, I uh, just converted to PSI and I like something was missing. When so, you say convert to PSI, do you mean from some other unit? Yeah, like from from fit to uh, PSI, right? Yeah. Feet of what? Feet of water. Okay. So usually what uh, usually we just multiply by 2.31, right? Uh, to get the uh, get the feet of water. Is the goal to get feet of water? No, uh, this problem happened was um, I, so if you see that like PSIG, right? 30, like 30 PSIG. And it was not like uh, the 14.7 was not added. That's my question was like, why, why we didn't add 14.7? Uh, That's all. You see like P2 equals uh, 30 PSIG. Mm -hmm. So it should be 44.7 PSI, right? That's my question was. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm dragging you through this line of questioning. All right. So when we say, when we add 14.7 to the gauge pressure, what are we calculating? We are calculating um, the... Help them help in the chat if anyone knows it. Absolute pressure? The absolute pressure. The absolute pressure. That's exactly right. So when we add the atmospheric pressure, to the gauge pressure, we're calculating the absolute pressure. So I'm gonna flip your question back on you and say, in this problem, do we need to calculate the absolute pressure? Mm, I don't think so. What drives whether we have to or whether we don't have to? So if uh, one end is open to the... Um, open to the air or uh, then we we uh, calculate absolute pressure what are we going to do with p1 and p2 once we find them both so one is inlet and one is like discharge pressure right right so if uh, any 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 of them any of the pressure is open to the air, the atm right the, the atmosphere atmospheric uh, pressure so it should be like considered that there is a pressure difference of 14.7 that's how i understood it right yeah don't worry too much about the atmosphere w what we want to know is we want to know the difference in pressure across the pump so we want to know what I'll put the pump and this piping on the discharge side so we want to know the difference in pressure between p2 and p1 yeah so if i have any difference in pressure i don't have to worry about psig that's what i understood yeah because, because well, you have to be sense. consistent Okay. That's critical. So if you have the pressures in PSIG, that's fine as long as they're both in PSIG. If you're going to convert them to absolute pressure, then you have to convert both of them to absolute pressure and then subtract. So like, so I actually like um, went to the problem. So if you look at the P1 and P2, right? So P1 is 0.98 PSI. And minus, minus 0.98. Yeah, minus 0.98. And P2, this PSIG, right? So we didn't add is it? 14 14 point seven. That's that's my question was like that. Like so so you're saying P2 is PSIG. I'll, okay. I'm with you, I'm with you there. Yeah, is P1 PSIG? It, no. It isn't? No. How did we how did we get it? What did we start with? So we started with the two inches of uh, 
minus two inches. Minus two minus two inches of mercury, right? Yep. So we convert it to psi. Is that, minus two inches an absolute pressure or a gauge pressure? That's a that's a question. Like I don't I don't know that. Yeah. Oh, help them in the chat, guys. Minus two inches mercury. Is it a gauge pressure or an absolute pressure? And how do you know? Or on mute if you know. This is a physics concept. Yeah, there's there's a question like yeah, maybe there's a disconnect I have, but that's why I yeah, like Jackie nailed it. Gauge pressure since it's a vacuum. There's no such thing as negative absolute pressure. That can't be. So the fact that it's negative implies that it's gauge because okay. it's negative with respect to what? With respect to the atmosphere. So that's how we know it's a gauge. The other way that we know is that it says a pressure gauge near the pump inlet reads minus two inches. So if it's read off a gauge, then it's the gauge pressure. So it's not meant to be cryptic. But but there's kind of two ways, right? There's the fundamental physics idea that a negative pressure must be gauge because there's no such thing as negative pressure. And secondly, it tells you it's read from a gauge. I see, I see. So like, actually, to be honest with you, I got the confusion because like I didn't see PSIG at the end. So I got like a little confused. That's why I had the question. Anyways, I, I, I got my answer. Yeah, it's a good question. Thanks for asking it. And nice job working through my peppering you with questions there. No problem, sir. As long as we get there in the end. Yep.